What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to some more My Hero Academia Ultra Impact, and today we have our very first villain officially revealed on the Twitter account, and it is going to be muscular. Man, muscular is going to be super dope to work with in the game, man. I cannot wait to see what he does because this is a brand new character to the game. He was not actually in the closed beta test, so I don't know anything about this character. We're just going to go over all of his details that we have on Twitter and also kind of speculate on what he does. And also muscular was one of my top 10 characters that I most wanted in my hero academia ultra impact. And if you guys missed that video, link to that will be down in the description down below or click the eye annotation up above to check out that top 10 video because it was super dope to see not only only Aizawa revealed but also muscular is finally being revealed and in, in the game man I cannot believe this man oh man muscular is one of my favorite villains by far so I cannot believe that he's finally getting a reveal so we're gonna go over all of his details that we have here on Twitter and again kind of speculate what he his kit is going to be because this is again a brand new character so before we go ahead and get into all that make sure you guys go down there click that red subscribe button to join the heroes and villains community here today as well as check out all my social media down in the description down below such as my twitter and all that stuff so that way you go follow me and that way you don't miss out on any future updates and also just details about the game whenever i do tweet and stuff like that but also make sure to go down there click that bell turn on all notifications for the channel that way don't miss out on any future videos whether it be gameplay guides showcases summons everything for my hero academia ultra impact this is going to be your best one-stop shop for the game when it does come out because we're going to be going ham on all of these showcases and everything like that and even summons for this game man it's going to be super awesome but here today we have muscular and Let's just kind of look at his image here. His artwork by far is just super cool. Not only he has the patch on his eye, but his, oh my God, the artwork is just cool. So based on kind of the previous reveals that we've been getting, assuming based on how they've been doing it, this is also going to be an SR rarity muscular. This is not a UR character. So this one is going to be probably more accessible to a lot of people because you'll probably get him more often on banners, but that's not also a bad thing. That's also kind of a good thing because a lot of SR characters do have a lot of use cases in the game. So that's really good to have an SR muscular. That just means a cooler and awesome, more height version of muscular is going to be hopefully coming later down the line because I cannot wait to see a UR version of this character, but who knows? This could be a UR character. I mean, they could just be fooling us with these tweets. Who knows? But based on the tweets so far that we've been seeing, it, just on the screenshot that they show here with the character reveal this screenshot is just a basic model you know screenshot so it is most likely an sr unit again that could be completely just misrepresented by the tweets right they could just be choosing different screenshots for different characters at random moments right but just kind of based on the pattern that i've been seeing and also thanks to the discord server we're also kind of get, getting hinted at this as well so if you want to check out the official my hero academia ultra impact twitter link to that be down in the description down below but again, according to these tweets, this is probably an SR character uh, just based on this as well. But again, I could be this could be wrong, could be completely wrong. But just kind of based on the pattern that they've been doing, this is most likely an SR muscular. So let's kind of look at what his details are. So playable now playable character announced muscular. His quirk is muscle building a terrifying enemy, a terrifying villain that gives bleeding to opponent with overwhelming power. So he does inflate bleed just because they've never been saying that this is a plus ultra move but in the recent reveals the move that they've been talking about is kind of actually the plus ultra attack so i want to say this could be an action skill but this could also very well be his plus ultra animation as well that he just attacks with overwhelming power maybe like 300 400 percent you know damage to a single enemy that inflicts bleeding so that is a status infliction that you can inflict with muscular, which I mean, based on, you know, just the anime and the muscular uh, Deku fight, man, he may inflicting bleeding makes sense, right? Cause he's always like in the anime, he's like, show me your blood, <laughs> you know, everything like that to Deku. So yeah, it makes sense that he does inflict bleeding. Uh, and <laughs> I, my basic assumption for muscular is when I did my top 10 video, what I would like to see his kit do. I didn't actually think about bleeding, so that's kind of, uh, that's new, and I didn't really think about that being a status infliction that he could do, and it makes sense now that I know that it's here and I can look at it, so it does make sense. Uh, more otherwise for his kit, I would say that he would probably have an action skill ability that gives him buffs, right? So instead, he would probably have a, an action skill that increases power and speed by like 10% for three turns or something like cooldown of five, six turns, right? So that would probably be one of his action skills based on his quirk because his quirk, you know, it allows him to power up his muscles. He gets faster, he gets stronger. So that definitely would make sense to have an ability like that for him where he 
basically uh, increases his power and speed by like a certain percentage for X amount of turns. And that way you can basically just hammer out the enemy, right? Just pounding it down, man. I don't know. And then maybe, maybe another action skill is an attack. So maybe an attack that also maybe just does like a power increase. So he attacks maybe like a punch attack or something like that uh, action skill to where it then increases his power by 10% for three turns and stuff like that. So if he has an ability that is just raising percentage boosts, then you would want to use that. Then also you would want to then use the action skill that he attacks if that does give a power boost. And then you would want to go with if this is in fact the plus ultra move that is in this tweet, then you would want to then use the plus ultra move that inflicts bleed and then you would deal so much damage with muscular after getting those boosts, right? So that's kind of a thing that I would I would say that it could be, but you know, I'm not entirely sure, right? So let's kind of read what this, uh, this Twitter little description here on his info says. I gotta pull it out because I didn't actually get to translate it yet so let me see it's gonna read what this infograph says about muscular real quick so and that okay so enemy villain a member of the league of villains with a prosthesis he has the nickname of blood madness or muscular uh and hurt people with his quirk as he likes he has a personality that makes him wear muscle or a quirk that makes him wear muscles outside of the skin and attacks with tremendous power and speed so yeah, just kind of based on this little info thing, it says attacks with tremendous power and speed. He most likely will have something that increases his power and increases his speed. Maybe instead of like action skills, I wonder if maybe he could have an auto skill to where it's just a passive that gives him like a 5% buff each turn that passes maybe. Or maybe he could be like Bakugo, each enemy that he defeats, he gets more powerful, right? By like X percent, right? So maybe he could have that, or again, he could have like his his auto skill raises his power by like 5% each turn that passes. That would be really, really good, especially for an SR character. That would be pretty insane, actually, if he was able to do that. So I'm not really sure how they would really build muscular to the point to where he would use his action skills, right? Um, but, you know, I don't uh, I don't really know. But my my basic assumption is that he would have a power speed increase and that would uh that would probably be it right so again it's an sr i wouldn't expect anything too too flashy with this one uh and maybe if we ever get a ur character he would probably be in super insane as a ur right but uh, if this is an sr i wouldn't expect too much from it but instead even though even though he's an sr i wouldn't count him out i would say if he inflicts bleed and if he does have power and speed increases to his abilities, then he would probably be a decent A tier unit to have on your team. Definitely a notable character to use on your team, right? Especially for long fights. You know, a lot of these events that come to the game are probably going to be long, very, very hard, difficult fights that you're going to be doing. So if you're having a character like muscular who m probably most likely is going to have abilities that increase his speed and also his power he's going to be dealing quite a bit of damage it also depends on his typing as well like what 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 would his type be i would assume maybe strength you know an s and a red character type i would imagine just because it's muscular and he's a power type user it would probably make the most sense uh, but again, we could get him being a purple type for all we know, and that'd be kind of random, right? So I don't <laughs> really know what kind of typing they could throw at him. And again, this is a completely new character. I wish I had more information to go off of because Muscular is just a cool character overall. And I really wish that he was a part of the closed beta. The only villains that we had in the closed beta were Shigaraki and Toga, uh, Himiko, Himiko Toga, right? So I think those are the only two villains. If I recall, I mean, there may have been one more that I can't remember, but there was there was only at least two villains in the beta that you could play with. Uh, but muscular, definitely. I think I remember muscular being a screenshot in one of the things that you know, like one of the preview screenshots and he was a, an enemy type. But that makes sense, right? Facing muscular, probably a story mode. Uh, muscular is definitely one we're going to fight, but uh, that's pretty much it. We didn't see a playable character in the beta, so that was pretty much all that we could really def, you know determine that muscular was probably going to be an enemy so he would most likely be a character unit a, in the future as well but muscular again what do you guys think about muscular what do you guys think that his abilities will be in the game once he does release so again my official thoughts on this character 
probably going to be a good a tier unit again that could change once he does release so we know his full kit we don't know everything about him right now but his plus his either this is either his plus ultra or an action skill so it inflicts bleeding with overwhelming power uh, most likely this is a plus ultra i would assume this is plus ultra that inflicts bleeding so we could have that and then he would have most likely maybe an action skill that increases his abilities only and then maybe an attacking action skill that also maybe gives one buff but not the other maybe an action skill that also gives bleeding and also does a power buff like so let's say he attacks with it attacks with that action skill it gives like has a medium chance or low chance of inflicting bleed and then also you would have maybe like a 10 percent power increase to the character right so that would maybe that would be one i could maybe go with that that would be a pretty cool action skill to have for muscular along with the the plus ultra move and then also just a move that also maybe increases power and speed for x amount of turns would be really cool his passive i don't know what his passive could be it, it's really weird again i was thinking like i said the bakugo situation where he defeats enemies and then his power increases for each enemy that he defeats or they could just do a flat you know power increase to uh power speed increase for you know each turn that passes right that would be something else they could go with or he could also buff like other villains like maybe he buffs a league of villain character or, or any characters that are league of villain types you know uh that would be something else that he could do again we really don't know too too much and that's kind of my speculation on muscular again his art man his art just looks sick and i cannot wait to see what else he can do in the game when he does release in the official version so let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below on muscular and what you guys think that he will do again I, i've kind of reiterated my points over and over again but that's kind of how i see muscular being built if you want to check out my top 10 video on my top 10 most wanted characters for my hero academia ultra impact link to that will be down in the description down below also check out all the other videos on the channel for all of the other different character reveals we had aizawa kirishima deku bakugo all might everything like that make sure to check out all those videos in the description down below as well as make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you guys are new click that bell turn on all notifications make sure to drop a like if you guys did enjoy this video and make sure to drop a like if you are hyped for muscular coming to the game and i'll see you guys in the next video have a fantastic day